Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson wanting to bring you some world news. Things are, the convergence of things and the heating up in the world is unbelievable. Who would have thought, we know this, we know what the word says, but who would have thought we'd live in such a time as this? Praise God. Well, I hope you're having a great day in the Lord. I will tell you, I'm on this uh, children's church, junior youth retreat with the kids. We, we've come out and done some things on our own. And so we'll be heading back today. Praise God for these young people. They know the gospel of grace and they are hungering after God. And we have had some great meetings and they have been children who have honored their heavenly father and their earthly parents by their behavior and have blessed me and the other leaders. So we're really just thankful for them and, and love them and enjoying that time with them. We have to occupy and redeem the time, be fully engaged and present in the moment and take those opportunities to worship God in spirit and in truth, to teach them to disciple, to build up one another in the faith and to reach out to a lost and dying world. Amen. Well, in Al Jazeera, Kashmir shellings have resumed and tensions resumed between the Pakistan-Indian tensions actions since the pilot was returned to India who had been shot down. In New York Times, it's reporting that there is a deadly showdown over the humanitarian aid to come to the people of Venezuela, as you know, Maduro is saying no, that this is a covert ops. The U.S. is pushing this coup in Venezuela. Just to remind you, you have Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and other countries supporting, I believe even Spain, supporting Maduro. In Venezuela, you have the U.S., Israel, Brazil, U.K., and other countries supporting the opposition Guido uh, in Venezuela. Brothers and sisters, it's all over the world, the tensions. All you have to do is read a little research and look at the news. The mainstream media, they're indoctrinating us to what they want. They're not bringing us much of the real serious information. And then you have the fake news um, on top of that. In Jerusalem Post, I was looking for the source. In the Jerusalem Post, it talks about Iran is working to get around U.S. sanctions. Now, this is what's interesting. In the past few weeks, uh, the past few days, Vladimir Putin and Benjamin Netanyahu, Russian president and prime minister of Israel, met. And, of course, the usual rhetoric that they're allies and that Russia will take care of Iran because they have, they're have they an ally of Russia and they'll take care of them. Listen, since 2015, I've been saying Russia and Iran, they're... They're like um, siblings. And, and so Russia looks at Iran almost as an older sibling will say to other people, make excuses for the younger sibling. Oh, but I'll take care of them. I can control them. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharov said, and I want to quote this for you, on Friday that Moscow will continue all out. Moscow, Russia, will continue an all-out cooperation with Iran, including in the area of nuclear energy. And that's reported by the Iranian media. So you've got these conflicting messages. I believe it, brothers and sisters. I believe it. Iran is simply, in some ways, a proxy for Russia right now in the aggression in the Middle East. Iran is has its proxies, Hamas and Hezbollah, and don't think Russia doesn't know about that. Russia cannot be trusted in this regard. In Arab news, Yemen Foreign Minister Khalid al-Yamani calls on Iran to stop supporting the Houthis, that militia group, the Houthis. So even that you're seeing these sides being taken and the tensions just increasing. In the Sydney Morning Herald, they're reporting that that attack about a year ago in Duma, Syria, was chemical and chlorine was used in that attack. If you recall at the time, they tried to say it was a conspiracy theory and it wasn't, but in 
in that news in Sydney, it was reported, it is, their organizations have reported it absolutely was chemical. In TAS, Russia calls for equal security guarantees despite the West stance. This is in regard to arms. EU permanent rep Vladimir Chizhov of Russia said, and this is quote, we have to acknowledge that today's situation is in a way much more dangerous than the one of the Cold War years. This is what EU rep Vladimir Chizhov is saying that it's in many ways it's worse than during the Cold Wars. Brothers and sisters, anything at any moment. Also in Taz News, Russia to complete field trials of paratroopers' latest artillery system in 2019. You, yesterday, I believe it was, I reported the drills by Turkey, the, the largest military drills they've ever done. Um, wow, you're just seeing it all around the world. You've got China securing its borders. You have Russia on the and, and Iran and Turkey and by extension, Libya and Sudan and Syria. Brothers and sisters, we are seeing things that the Bible told us was was going to happen. It is sobering and it is so exciting. Russia has just finished. This is real. This is breaking. This is coming from Intel sources. And it may be in other sources. I'm not know. Some of you sometimes have information as well. So if you do feel free to share that. Russia has just finished a phase of an AI battle robot. It has human shape. It's able to use, um, what do I say, automatic weapons like rifles and guns. And I, I mean, this is like Hollywood type stuff. They just finished <laughs> this phase of an AI robot. Brothers and sisters, there are so many things going on between that and I've reported in the past about super soldier technology, the rush between the U.S. and China. It's, it's already reported that DARPA has this. I, I had heard months ago that they have it now that if a soldier is shot in 12 hours, they're healed. They believe that they'll have the technology where if a limb is, is blown off, it can be grown back. What they're doing, this is moving, this is part of the Antichrist system to change our DNA I'll probably talk a little bit more about that again in the near future, but just know that things are so exponentially <laughs> progressed that for those who say we could be around for a hundred years, for a thousand years, I'm telling you, not even 10 years, we're imminent. We are imminent. It could literally be at any moment. And we are seeing the convergence of things. I know some of you disagree that you believe that we're in the 71st year, first year of Israel. I, I, I don't believe that. I believe we're in the 70th. But you know what? That is not what I call heaven or hell issue. And I don't want to have enmity with you for that. It really doesn't matter. God is sovereign. What we are seeing, and we know the season we're in, is the convergence of so many signs we don't need anything else to happen for the catching away. What we should be doing is praying, doing all that we do in the love of God. I'm going to go back to 1 John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God for God is love. May you walk in the love of Christ today. May it just overflow in you. Holy Spirit guide you and lead you and peace be yours in Jesus name. I'm going to say the blessing to you today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his countenance be lifted on you and his shalom, his peace, nothing lacking, nothing missing, whole, complete, and perfect be yours in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Messiah. I pray and bless you. Amen. Shalom and have an awesome day, brothers and sisters.